Hi guys! So I'm back today with a Primark haul. I absolutely love Primark hauls on YouTube. As soon as I see that any of my favourite YouTubers have put up a Primark haul, it gets me so excited. And autumn, winter is just my favourite season for clothes. I just love that you can wrap up, you can layer, and nobody knows what you look like underneath. Everybody looks great. So that works for me. Anything that means I don't have to dye it, and I'm on board with it. It excites me. So, I'm going to get straight in. I bought a huge, huge bag of stuff. There is, um, it's mainly for me. Um, I tried to find some baby stuff, but this time there really wasn't anything in there. Um, I find that sometimes the boy stuff in Primark can be... Sometimes you'll find like odd things that are amazing, um, but most of the time it's a bit pants, especially the size that Teddy's eyes at 12 to 18 months. So it's like a weird crossover between the baby stuff and then the toddler stuff, um, and it was rubbish. I was really, I was actually a bit put out. So, but for me, it was amazing. I found lots of stuff for myself. I'm just gonna, just gonna get straight in. It's fine. Um, Right, the first thing that I found was just like it's just like a little um just a cardigan. Uh I am I'm a teacher and for school like for work I tend to wear like just pants, a nice shirt and a jumper or a nice shirt and a cardigan. Sometimes I wear a dress and a cardigan and I just thought that'd be perfect for work. Um it was, it's a £6 on there, but it was £3. That was more my reason for getting it. I do have a problem. If something is on offer, I just have to buy it. Like, I don't need it, but it was on offer, so I've got to buy it. So, yeah, that was £3. It's just a basic cardigan. Uh, I got that in a size 8 because I've got really narrow shoulders. So, sometimes if I put, get like a 10, which generally I'm a 10 in clothes, they just come out here and they just look really weird. So, yeah, got an 8 in that. Um... It might not button up, but I don't I don't button up cardigans anyway. But yeah, so just it's really soft, just a really nice basic cardigan. The next thing I picked up was this. It does look nice, but it's it's this. It's not pajamas. It's it's a shirt like a going out shirt, but it's, it's honestly it just it just feels so amazing. It, it's long sleeves. It goes, it's got like a little slightly tighter sleeve, but it's not got any give in it. That's not got any elastic there. It's got a little button there. And then I just love like the collar. And I was thinking I could wear this with like some, some black skinny jeans or something, some high boots. And I bought a couple of chokers, which I'll show you. I thought that might look nice. It's not something I've tried before. It's a look that I've, I've seen other people do and thought, ooh, wonder. Because I do look young for my age. But then you don't want to like play on it a bit too much because I am 26, so I've got to think about that. I know 26 isn't old, I'm not saying it's old, I'm just saying I don't want to go out dressing how I did when I was at uni because it's just not appropriate when you've had a baby, really. And my figure shows that I've had a baby, but yeah. So this lovely, it's really silky, I love the colour, I'm a bit obsessed with blush at the moment. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. Don't know how good I'll look. It looks nice when I tried it on in Primark. So I'm hoping that I might look nice in it. We'll find out tomorrow. I'm off out tomorrow and we'll we'll see how that goes. But that was £10 and I got it in a size 10 because like I said, generally I am a size 10. So there you go. Lovely blush silky shirt for you there. Um oh Oh, I'm so excited about this next thing. Oh, this is something that I've wanted for so long. I've eyed it up in Topshop, and I was—I'll be honest—I was quite happy to pay the Topshop prices. So in my head, I was getting it from Topshop. Then I went to Primark, and I thought, well, there's no difference, and apart from price, so I'll have it. it is oh, some dungarees, like a dungaree dress. Just I. I absolutely adore it. I can't get over the quality of it. It's 
it's denim like so many like times i look at the jeans in primark and i think oh they're really good but they're obviously not denim that's not real however this oh it's just amazing it's just amazing oh what's the point in spending 40 odd quid in topshop when you could get it from primark like even these things they like properly work I'm just looking for the butt, like the bit that's wrong with it, and, and there isn't one. Oh, wait. It's a bit hard to undo that, but it's undone. These are just the the quality, and like even like down to the stitching. Who would go to Topshop when you could get it in a Primark? Um, I bought it in a 12 because they didn't have a 10. The only downside. But, you know, got room. I can eat. I can eat it. It's quite. It's it's short, but it's not too short. It's it's an acceptable, acceptable mummy length, I would say. Um, it's just amazing. There's the there's the back. But <sighs> I've run out of adjectives because it just gets amazing. Um, it's a pocket on the front, you know, for storing small animals i don't know what you would put in a pocket right there to be honest it's, it's a bit of a booby pocket i wouldn't put anything in there because i have large breasts and you don't need to emphasize them anymore so that's another reason why i like dungarees because i can just hide them hide them behind and no one will ever know Ooh, might look quite nice with this uh, this jumper actually yeah so yeah i'm gonna put all kinds of things under there t-shirts Long sleeve t-shirt, no that's not a t-shirt, long sleeve shirts, roll necks, jumpers, this is going to be my winter staple and oh, as you can tell I'm just so excited about it, oh, denim dungarees and because I was so excited when I found the denim one, I couldn't stop there, you see, so I got it in cold, so I bought this in an 8 because I didn't have a 10, it's pretty tight but just won't wear it out for food i'll just just wear it this one's slightly different it doesn't have a pocket on the front and whereas the other one had the detachable straps there this doesn't they're they're attached it's got like a little little thing there but you can't adjust the length of these ones so yeah this one was 12 pounds which is the same as the denim one i would have paid like ideally i think the denim one should have cost more than this one but either than being 12 pounds it's amazing um, this one's got like two pockets at the front. I don't know if you can see those, but yeah, it's um, it's just really nice, soft, like corduroy. I don't know if you can see that. A bit of fluff on there. Really. My dog Betsy's got it. Ah, oh, there, that's better, isn't it? You can see it. So then I look like a little ghost behind. But yeah, oh, it's lovely, lovely, lovely feel. I think that'd be really nice with tights and boots. Um, Christmas markets here in Manchester are just like, they're a big deal. So this is like perfect Christmas market outfit for me. I'm thinking this, my gorgeous Jules boots, which I have on now. I'll just give you a peek because I love them. Ah! So beautiful. They're Jules on our Primark. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this, them boots, thick tights nice top underneath like maybe something a bit like a plain colour a bit like this uh, or a, a scarf all wrapped up <sighs> winter my favourite time of year but yeah it's beautiful and to go under them I got this now if anybody looks in my wardrobe they will see there is an array of black and white stripy tops yeah stripy top this is like it's, I don't know if you say it about clothes but it's, it's ribbed you know what I mean um but yeah oh yeah you can see it there can't you oh it's just it's just so soft like I can't believe how soft it is it feels amazing and I love a roll neck in the winter love it so that will look fab underneath those two. And I got this in a 10, I would think. Yes, I got it in a 10. And that was five pounds, which I think is amazing for that because honestly, it feels so expensive. Does it? It's 
It's amazing. Hmm. But yeah. Um, and then I just got bits now. Um, I got these because socks. I really need socks. Um, and we are moving house. So I think what I'm going to do is bin all my socks. Bin all my Primark pyjamas that are just like you know, when you've washed them so many times. They're all faded. And I'm going to get all oh, new, no, honestly. I'm not even bothered about the new house. I'm in my room. I'm just like, I get new socks and new pyjamas. And I'm so excited about it. So I started with these socks. And I don't know if you can see, but I love these ones. It's like, um, kind of netted. Lovely then, lovely. So you get five pairs for £2.50. These are lovely autumnal colours. Just, I just love them. I just think, oh, how appropriate. And then, speaking of socks, I saw these and I thought, oh, they will look so cute with my boots. So then boots that I've just shown you, I've got a lovely like leopard print on the back of them. But I just thought, Either with like black leggings or jeans. If I just like tucked them in and they just had this little them just peeping out above my boot. Not all of it. I don't. I won't have like that much. I'll just have like a tiny little. Oh, and I thought that'd be so cute. But they feel amazing anyway. These socks. So even if it's just just for having and nobody sees them, I like them. Um, and I'll feel sassy walking around the house in those bad boys. I think they're really cute, really nice. And they were two pounds for two pairs. Pound a pair. A bit more expensive, but I can feel that the quality of them ones is a bit better than the last ones. Both are great, but these do feel a little bit, a little bit more luxurious. And then, as I mentioned before, I got some chokers. So I got this one. See it. This one I thought would go really nice with that pyjama shirt. Um, I don't know about the colours, it's all very 90s, very Clarissa explains it all, but she was Melissa Joan Hart was pretty stylish back then, so I don't I'm quite happy to channel my inner Clarissa. Um so yeah, this it's like a velour kind of feel. Feels like suede actually, which obviously it's not because it's Primark, it's not suede. But yeah, it's got little jewels there. It's really nice. As you can see, it was two pounds. It's two pounds for that one. Oh, well, that's nice. I'll try it. See what happens. Um, and then I thought, whilst I'm there, I'll try and find some more gold ones because I'm clearly enjoying gold. So I've got one that's like just like a little little circle thing there. Um, and then another one. It's just like a bar. I think if you flip that, but they're upside down. And I don't know why. If you flip that, it's got little uh, little kind of jewels on it. I don't know if I'll wear that one. That's not really me. Um, but then there's like a moon. Again, very close. Explains it all. Um, and then a sun. So there's four in there. And that's four for three pounds. So I thought, I'll just see what they look like. See how it goes. I might hate them, but for three pound, it doesn't really matter, does it? So, we try and be cool and wear these. Um, and then the next stuff. Oh, as I said, I've got an obsession with blush at the moment. It's which stems from my love, and I think most women these days is love of rose gold. It's copper, really, but I like to say rose gold because because I like rose gold. Um. So yeah, I've got like a, got a sharpener, these were all a pound each so I, I had to get them all, start a collection. I've got a sharpener, um, I've got some tweezers, you can actually get two pairs for a pound there which I think is amazing and they're so cute. And my husband gets so angry at me for losing my twe his tweezers which he has had since before we got together so we got the same pair for like over six years so. You really should get over it if I lose them, it's not a big deal. But he gets really stressed about it. So, got my own tweezers. There you go. Um, eyelash curler. I never curl my eyelashes, but it was rose gold. So, I had to get it. I, I don't need it. But I think that's amazing value for a pound because you've got an extra one in like a, you know, the little bar thing you put on the bottom 
for a pound. Love it. And then finally, little scissors. Got some little scissors, also a pound. Um, I'm hoping that they feel stiff enough because sometimes you get scissors that are cheap and they, after a bit the screw in the middle like wobbles off and that just makes me so angry. I go through scissors, like nobody's business. So I'm hoping these last, but if not, they're a pound. So I won't blame you, Primark, if they don't last. But there you go, some scissors. And the last thing that's not for my husband but is for me is this little... It's not for me either really, it's for Teddy. Um, they are wooden, wooden feathers. How cute are they? I am so obsessed with this like woodland slash tribal thing going on for little people at the moment. And I absolutely love, I absolutely adore anything outdoorsy for Teddy. I just, ugh, it just excites me. So for his birthday, we did like a proper little woodland bash and I made him a teepee. Obviously it wasn't for him, it was for the guests at the party. And it went down so well. Um, but I made my own dream catcher for it and I had tried to just hang pom-poms off it because obviously I can't make feathers. So I've decided that when we move house, I'm going to make him a dark den teepee. Um, so we can do some of his therapy in it. And I thought that would look amazing. These would just look amazing. Hanging off... Um, a dream catcher if I make him a new dream catcher so I thought well for two pounds even if I do nothing with them I've got them or if I find something else to do with them I've got them so and oh and like, actually no I left this the one thing that I didn't try on I forgot, I forgot this it's gorgeous is this dress oh it's beautiful I love the sleeves and it goes to like an elastic bit here Um, it's got like like a see-through bit there it's it's, it's stitched you can see my nail through there. It's just, it's just really pretty. Love this pattern. Um, and oh, the collar, the collar's beautiful. I've seen quite a few other um, YouTubers getting things from Primark with this collar. And I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind trying something like that with that collar on. I just thought it's really, really quite me. So I thought, oh, I'll try, like, as soon as I saw that, um, so I didn't try it on, I've done my little try on. And then I was walking, going down, uh, I wasn't walking, but I was going down the escalator and I just saw that at the bottom and thought, I'm not, I don't need to try it on because I've been pining for this for a while. So yeah, just picked it up. I love it. I've tried it on already. I tried it on with a little waist belt and it looked really, really nice. Um, and I definitely think this with tights and boots is going to be awesome for the colder weather. I just thought, it's just beautiful. I just love it. I had to, once I found that, I had to pick it up because it's just gorgeous. And that was £13. So the most expensive thing I bought, but worth it. Worth every penny. Such a weird thing with Primark. Like, you spend money in there and you just think, oh god, I've spent like £100. How can I have spent £100? What am I going to do? But then when you think about it, you've bought so much. If I went to Topshop, that'd be like two, three things. And it's like, I'm happy to spend it in there. So I just don't know why my brain works the way it does. Like, I love Primark, but I don't. I, in my head, I shouldn't spend more than like £30 in there. But I expect to get the world for £30. And that was it. So, yeah. Well done, Primark. You served me well this week. Um, no doubt I will be... Back in Primark, after watching more Primark hauls on different people's channels, I will feel inspired to go back again. Uh, if you like this kind of video, just let me know and I shall do it again if you do like it. Alright?